The scene in Christianstead was full of music and fun Friday night at a jump up on the boardwalk until it took a tragic turn that left a 16-year-old girl dead. Police on St. Croix are investigating assaults among eight females between the ages of 15 and 18 at about 10.45 p.m. Five were injured from multiple stab wounds. The VIPD held a press conference Monday, which they said they hoped would clear up rumors. 911 began receiving reports of multiple stab victims on the Christianstead boardwalk area. The 32 officers assigned to the saturated patrol were on scene within minutes of the first 911 call and in spite of a large crowd was able to administer life-saving first aid, gain control of the crime scene and arrest two suspects within minutes. St. Croix residents have called the police response disorganized. There has been much discussion concerning the manpower assigned to the jump up event on the night in question. Nonetheless, the manpower at this event was more than sufficient to provide coverage and greater than that provided at pre previous events. The suspects, who are 16 and 17 years old, appeared in juvenile court Monday and were charged with first-degree murder. Their identity is still confidential since they're minors. The conversation took on a bigger scope when VIPD was asked why the 10 o'clock curfew has not been keeping teens off the streets. We've been on this road before, but prior to Christmas events, we very aggressively enforced curfew violations, and we did so without the support of a lot of the community. There was a lot of flack the police department got, on, uh, got because of it. Um, that didn't sway what we were doing, and as a result of this event, we're going to do it at greater numbers. Powell says he hopes the next step will be legislation enacting harsher repercussions for parents who don't make their children abide the curfew. Charlotte Hancock, News 2.